Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to create multiple feeds for RSS. When it comes to RSS, it's more tempting for me to subscribe to a feed when it's exactly what I want. For example, the BBC News, they output so many different articles, but maybe I don't really care for politics. Maybe I just want to read something about technology. Maybe I just want to read their global events. Then you can subscribe to a specific feed. So just to show you an example, if you Google uh, BBC News RSS feeds and click on the first link, this is actually a very old page, but you can see here um, there are very specific topics that you can subscribe to. So I might just subscribe to the health feed, for example. So when it came to my own site, I was faced with the same problem. I think most people won't run into this, but for me, for example, I have this section called Intrigue where I also review music and films. And my blog is uh, pretty versatile in that sometimes I write thought pieces, sometimes I write things about Statamic. So I thought to myself, well, there will be people that maybe want to read all that, but at the same time, there'll be people that don't really care what I think about Deftones or what I've watched recently. So I thought, well, maybe I can create uh, different feeds for people that subscribe to my blog or my website. So the result being my subscribe page, which you can see at the bottom of my site, where I've effectively output multiple different RSS feeds depending on what you're interested in. And these feeds are created dynamically using Statamic. And in this post, I'll go through how I did that. So I guess this is quite a code heavy tutorial. So it's probably better for you to refer to the post as I'm talking about this. But to walk you through that, I'm just going to bring up my post here. So the first thing you need to do is conditionally output an RSS title in your head. So what happens normally is you have a link tag in your head, which means that you can grab the page URL, so I can just copy the page URL and uh, paste it into my RSS reader. The RSS reader can then look up this link and automatically subscribe me to that page without giving it the exact link for the RSS feed. So this is normally how I subscribe to things. I just copy the link and paste it into my RSS reader. So normally you might have something like, like this, like a blog feed with an RSS link here. But what we want to do is uh, change the title depending on which feed we're on. And we can do this uh, using an if statement. There's probably a more clever way you can do this by doing something dynamic with the title, so just changing this part. But for my case, I wanted a little bit more control and I wanted to make it clear and explicit. So what I did was use an if statement and set a variable at the top of uh, the different templates that I was using. So I've linked to the Statamic documentation here and they've got a uh, documentation about variables and how you can set these. To set them in the front matter, so the antlers template basically, you can put these three dashes at the top and bookmark the variable name in between. So in my case, my blog page uses an index file here. So if I go to uh, my site forward slash blog, this is being generated by this index file. And what I've done here is just put uh, the front matter at the top. So I've said uh, the RSS variable should be set to blog, which you can see here if I open up my index file. So I've got RSS blog. And then I've done the same for uh, my listening view and my watch view. So this correlates to my site, the front end where I've reviewed what I'm listening to and what I've recently watched. So having set those variables, what I've got going on in the head, and it's this section here you want to look at, just got an if statement saying if it's the blog then output this if it's the listening output this if it's watched output this and mine's a little bit more dynamic I've just set this in the back end but effectively what we're saying is just change the title to something different depending on what it is the link is the same it's always the current URL forward slash RSS so this just controls the title so step two once we've got the dynamic head we need to construct a RSS template depending on what page we're on. And as an example here, I've just got a, a simple feed. I always find it a little bit easier when you can see the target and you realize actually it's very simple what we're trying to recreate. So what we've got here in Statamic land is first of all, um, this XML header tag is Statamic's way of telling it to output the XML header. And then if I open this up in my code editor, it might be a little bit easier for you to understand because we've got the syntax highlighting. So if I open up RSS antlers file, so we've got the XML header. And then the complicated part really 
is checking the segment. So Satamic divides the URL into different segments. So as an example, if I look at this, this would be blog would be segment one, and then the next one would be segment two. And maybe if we have, you know, blog forward slash category forward slash the name of the category, the name of the category would be segment three. So once you understand that, it might make it easier to understand what's going on here. So what we're doing is we've got a dynamic link here um, saying uh, the config app URL bit is just the URL we're on. So, um, you know, jgeorge.co.uk and then the segment one. But here we're saying if there's a segment two, do forward slash segment two. And then if there's a segment three, do forward slash segment three and then RSS on the end. So we're dynamically constructing this link and we're also doing the same with the title. I've got this if statement uh, and this forward slash just to make the title look a bit prettier. And you can see I've uh, dynamically constructed the description here by saying if um, it's a blog, then I can say thoughts and tutorials about web design. And this is the main section where we dynamically construct the feed. I've tried to break up the main chunk of it in partials just to make this if statement a little bit easier to understand. So to explain it to you, we've said uh, if we're on the blog, so if the first segment, so jgeorge.co.uk forward slash, then the first segment is blog. Now we need to check if there is uh, effectively a category or a tag, because if segment three is present, it will be a category or tag. And then within that, if it's a category, then we want to output the blog collection with the category taxonomy, then pull in the post. If it's a tag, the tag taxonomy, pull in the post. Otherwise, if segment three isn't there, so this means we don't have a category or tag, it's just forward slash blog, then we can just output the collection of posts as a blog. And then we've output different collections depending on segment one. So if we do have a listening or watch collection, we'll pull in those collections. And just to show you what the partial looks like, because it's the same for all of the different blog conditions, but we've got a slightly different partial for these other categories or these other collections. RSS post. And this is kind of just standard RSS stuff. Here, uh, I've got a barred field, so there's a few different if statements here. And then if I just look at my watch one, for example, it's kind of the same, but um, it just pulls in some slightly different things, like I've got an artwork tag for my reviews, and I've got a slightly different layout on the barred if it's got a few things ticked. The final thing we need to do really before tidying up is create a route. And the reason we want to do this is we don't want Statamic processing things the normal way because this needs to be an XML or more specifically an Atom feed for RSS readers to understand. So you can uh, define roots in the file called web.php. So you can see there's an example here. Now I've got two roots because uh, it might be the third segment as well. So it might be uh, blog categories, then the category. So what we're doing here is we're capturing uh, the possibility of either of these routes happening and pushing it to our RSS antlers file. So just to explain what's happening here, it's saying if it matches anything forward slash RSS. Now this variable here, you can call whatever you want. But I've just called it root directory one, just to make it obvious for me. And the second argument is which template to push it towards. So we're pushing it towards RSS, because remember this is the template file we have. And then uh, we need this argument here, which is the layout argument. Now we're saying nothing. We don't want it to use any kind of layout. I think because by default, it will use layout.antlers.html, but we don't want it to do that. And then we're saying render it as a content type of Atom, which is the correct uh, feed type for RSS readers. So once that's in place, that should be it basically. The one thing you might need to do is run this root clear command because um, I think Satamic caches roots by default. So it might work, but just do a root clear to make sure this happens and also do that on your production server. And the last thing you want to do is use this uh, feed validator to make sure whatever you're doing is correct. It's very fussy when it comes to RSS, particularly with like podcasts and things. So I definitely advise you to validate it. So I hope I've made this a little bit easier for you. Uh, it's quite complex creating multiple routes, but once you see it done and you understand what's going on, it should make it a lot easier to build it yourself.